Hi everyone, it's Miriam from Delicious Without Gluten. I am here again in my home to show you how to make Graham crackers. Um, they are difficult to find sometimes in stores and super, super easy to make. And I'm gonna show you just a few steps and then after what you can do with your Graham crackers. And I'm gonna get started with two cups of flour, all-purpose flour. I have an all-purpose flour that we make. If you're using that, it's 310 grams. I love using my scale to uh, measure things out because I can just pour and not have to measure and all that stuff. So um, to that, we're going to add um, a, ta a teaspoon of baking powder. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon and a, a half a teaspoon of salt and a third cup of brown sugar. I'm using here the dark one because sometimes um, they're made with molasses and um, uh, I mean the graham crackers are made with molasses but today we're just using honey. We are making a vegan recipe. I actually am going to give you two recipes. One that's vegan and one that actually has dairy and um, eggs. So now I've mixed all the dry ingredients and what we need is one stick of like the like an earth balance, it's like 113 grams or a half a cup of butter. I'm gonna put that right in there. I have here a teaspoon of uh, vanilla and a tablespoon of water. And here we're gonna use the scale again because sometimes honey is very sticky to measure into something and then try to stick it, take it out. So I know that it's 80 grams, we're gonna be using a quarter cup of honey. So I'm just gonna measure like this, so that way I don't have to clean out another dish. <laughs> sometimes it's just too many dishes. So that's 80 grams right there. Handy dandy, love it. And now we're done. So this is how simple it is. I am going to put it into my mixer. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you can actually do it by hand, but it's super fast. And I'm just going to get my paddle attachment and uh, we're going to let that on, on slow speed. And the butter or the margarine or whatever you're using is going to collect and then it's going to, um, we'll put it on a higher speed in a little while, and then it'll um, form a dough. So once we have that dough, we'll be able to um, make some sheets of the graham cracker. So I'm gonna show you one that I did over here. This is a plain graham cracker. As you see, I didn't put little holes in them, but this one over here, I did. I actually put some cinnamon and sugar on top for a little extra flavor, and I put those little holes what happens is you'll see if you don't put the holes you'll get i don't know if you can see from here but a little like bu bubble it's those holes are really meant to actually keep the dough down so let's have a look now i'm going to put the speed a little bit higher and you'll see it's collecting if after like a minute or so you don't see it collecting then you'll need to add a tablespoon of water but i see right now that the butter is softening and forming into a bar as we speak. <laughs> so here we go. This is exactly what we need. A nice soft dough. It will come off easily with uh, just a finger. Um, you can use a spatula. And I'm just going to take the bowl out. And I'm going to actually put this down so that I can see what we're doing. And what I like to do is I like to take the ball and cut it into two. So hold on a second. So we're gonna flour, or maybe we could use for now, we're gonna use, let me just clean up a little area here. We're gonna flour up uh, either the counter or we could use parchment paper, cut them into two. Um, and you can make a square or you can make, I'm gonna take a little bit of flour on the top so my pin doesn't, uh, my pin doesn't get stuck. And you can make it into a square or a rectangle as you wish. I had 
some technical difficulties with the camera. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is start again and I'll use the counter um, as I was about to show you just to form um, my little square. Use a little bit of flour there. And you can make it thin or you can make it thick. It's really up to you. That's the great part about cooking is that you actually get to decide on all that stuff. And I'm gonna use a pizza cutter and make the squares that I like. And what you can do is use your fork to make those little marks. And it's really up to you. You can actually also take some cinnamon and sugar and you can sprinkle it on top. There you go. And then it's ready to go into the oven. So it goes into an oven of 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it into a pan. Actually, I'm gonna take this over here. And I'm going to just take my dough, transfer it onto the paper, and then we can put it into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on um, if you like a soft cookie or a harder cookie and also depends on the time, like how your oven is. So I'm gonna put this into the oven and I'm going to then show you what you can do from here. So with my graham crackers, first of all, we just like them as snacks. They're really good, yummy and delicious. We can make some s'mores and we can also make a really easy graham cracker. So this graham cracker uh, crust uh, gave me my key lime pie I'm actually gonna give you a recipe for the key lime pie. It's super fast and super easy. I took my graham crackers and I put them in a food processor and I grounded them. I put a cup and a half of the uh, graham cracker crushed up with a third cup of the um, sugar, the brown sugar, and 50 grams of a soft butter. I use a non-dairy Bissell soft butter it's a vegan one. And basically we just put the whole thing together and then um, we can mix it up and pour it into a pie shell. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy uh, wooden spoon <laughs> until we get this going because it can get all messy. But it's really that simple, you just put it onto, once it's all mixed up together, you put it onto, um, I'm gonna use my hands now. We're gonna put it right into the pie dish and then we'll pat it down. And then you bake that in the oven for about uh, 10 minutes. It should be a little bit browned on the edges. And then after that, we can pour in the filling. Any filling that you like, could be a chocolate pie or a sugar pie or key lime pie, whatever you like. So this is what it will look like. We're gonna actually put that in. I can build up the sides with my hands like that. And then you can use the rest like this. Some people like to use the edge of a cup and make it really flat and make the edges more smooth then you put that into the oven when it's ready like I said 350 degrees for um, 10 minutes and that's it then you can pour in your filling finish it all up and have more fun with your graham crackers if you have any questions be sure to post below I'm going to be posting also the recipe so that you don't have to read this uh, or view this video again over and over to get it and um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up.